Here's a question I put on the trigger exam. Uh, it says evaluate a cosine inverse uh, sine. Let's do a quick analysis and see how to solve this type of problem. The analysis for this problem looks something like this. Here's the step one. We started with the sine x because here we have inverse sine. So the base function is a sine. Sine function looks like something like this. However, in the inverse sine zone, that's one on one defined is between 90 degrees and minus 90 degrees. Now, this is crucial. Without knowing where inverse sine is defined as a function, so it's one on one, it's hard to solve this problem. For our particular problem, sine inverse is minus 4 over 5. So, here's the point when sine is sine of something is equal to minus 4 over 5. We don't know what this theta is, but we don't really need to know for this particular problem, but we do need to locate this angle first. So if sine of a theta is equal to minus 4.5, so it's roughly 0 0.8, minus 0 0.8 over here, and here's our angle, we can see our theta that of interest is in quadrant 4. Okay, this is the first step. This is important. And having arrived at quadrant four, what we can do is take a look at this one. This is the step two. All right, for step two here, we marked that the angle is a minus angle that's between zero and minus 90 going clockwise. Sine is minus 0.8. So here is the y value, which is on the unit circle corresponding to the y value. And there's my terminal angle here. Now all I have to do is find out what this little x is because I'm asked to find out what the cosine of the theta is. All right, so let's write up the solution. All right, let's clean up and have some space to write up the solution. All right, so here's the solution. I'm going to name this sine inverse of minus 4, 5 as a theta. Then sine theta, this is just another way to write this one, is equal to minus 4 over 5. From earlier analysis, we know that inverse sine is defined from minus 90 degrees to positive 90 degrees. And since we have a minus 4 over 5, that puts us the theta in the quadrant 4. Here's angle, quadrant 4. Sine of this angle is minus 4 over 5. Okay, so from there, the cosine of this angle is pretty easy to find. It's 1 minus the sine squared, or 3 over 5. Cosine in quadrant 4 is positive, so cosine of theta is 3 over 5. That's the same since theta is the inverse of sine this thing. If we put everything back together, the answer is 3 over 5. Well, I hope this helps. Hi, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Please, comment or share this video. Together we can make math easy again. Have a confident day.